oxidation number of hydrogen and minus halogens in most of the compound halogens have oxidation number of minus but when it is combined with more electronegative atoms then it may have positive oxidation number okay otherwise you know if we have hcl chlorine is minus one but if we have hclo3 because oxygen is more electronegative than chlorine then its oxidation number is plus one we will calculate later on okay but when high chlorine is attached to less electronegative atoms halogens are attached to less electronegative atom it has minus 1 oxidation number but when there are atoms more electronegative than halogen then it may have positive oxidation number rule number 7 in case of p group oxidation number of any atom of group varies from n minus 8 to n like nitrogen its valence electrons are 5 so 5 minus 8 means minus 3 2 okay. 5 oxidation number varies from minus 3 to plus 5 for example n is number of valence electrons n is 3 n 2 o n o oxidation number or we can say charge on all the atoms is equal to the charge on the ion so these are the rules now let us discuss so what is the oxidation number of manganese in kmn of oxidation number of manganese in kmn of plus seven. because this magnesium is of a finer term take it as x potassium 
equal to the empty metal. It is always plus one. Oxygen minus two. So that means it is one plus x minus minus two into four. So minus eight equal to zero. Oxidation number of chromium in Cr2 O7 two negative. There is two negative charges on whole Cr2 O7. It's like this Cr2 O7 two negative. So it is X minus two. So two into X. Minus two into seven. Minus two into seven, and equal to minus two. This is compound molecule, and this is ion. So total sum of the oxidation numbers of all the atoms is equal to charge on it. So it comes out to be two x minus fourteen. That is two x equal to Minus two plus fourteen, so plus twelve. So that is like x is equal to plus. Okay. Now, what is the oxidation number of carbon in oxalate? Oxidation number of carbon in oxalate x minus. Two, so it is two x minus eight is minus equal to minus minus two into four. Two so x equal to plus x is plus three. And they two s two o three. What is the oxidation number of sulfur? Or and they two s four o six. In first case, take it as x. This is plus one minus two. Two plus two x minus six equal to zero. That implies two x minus four equal to zero. Two x equal to plus. So each sulfur in sodium thiosulfate has plus two oxidation number. But keep in mind, it is average oxidation number. What is this? Average. Average. Individual oxidation number we can calculate only when we have an idea of its structure. Structure पता होगा, then we can calculate oxidation number of each atom, individual atom. ये जो आता है, this is called average. This is average oxidation number. What about this? X plus one minus two plus four X minus twelve. Four X minus ten equal to zero. Four X equal to that is plus two point five. This fractional oxidation number means it is average oxidation. We can predict. Oxidation number of each sulfur by drawing its structure. जो भी oxidation number है, these are based on the electronegativity. Rules are based on the electronegativity. ठीक है?